installing the shower bar today. Got my shower bar cut to fit, and I'm gonna show you how to how to permanently install a shower bar. A lot of times you can get the adjustable kind, and that's fine. But what if you didn't want anyone to take the shower bar with them? Uh, this is a permanent shower bar, so what we want to do is take our end caps here, and we're gonna slip them on first. Slide over like so. Uh, if these were loose, you can take these tabs here, take your pair of pliers and bend them down. I'm finding these ones come pretty tight. In fact, so tight that uh, sometimes they can be kind of tough to push back on. But you can see this one's fairly loose. Uh, what I'll do is go ahead and tighten that one up a little bit. Just by show you bending the tabs down here. It's got these little tabs. We we'll just kind of go around, bend them in a little bit. Now it's probably going to be fairly tough to move. Anyway, sharp edges here and all, just have to be careful for that. And now I pushed it on nice and tight there. Okay, so now we've got our shower bar ready to go in. And just going to position it where we want it. And then we've got these end brackets. The end brackets here. So we're going to go one on each end. And just insert like so. And we've slid these on far enough to give us enough room to put our screws in. Okay, sneeze. It's a little bit easier to push them on. Line them both up. I like them to be straight up and down. It just kind of depends on what you like there. Anyway, I'm going to put this about an inch above the shower enclosure itself. Just get it nice and level. And then we'll put in our screws. So, I'm just going to use the screw as an indication. Just use the screw to measure it there. And this one comes with its own screws, but I actually prefer some little drywall screws a little bit better. They just go in a little bit easier to the drywall than the screws that came with the kit. This is a nice permanent install, it means no one's going to take your shower bar when they leave. I've just kind of lined it up equal with the bottom down here so the shower, bar, the shower curtain will hang in a good spot there. Line it up on this side. You can use a level or you can eyeball it. Just Depends on what you think. I'm using the screw to kind of measure it and line it up in the same spot. Before I get too far, make sure that's looking nice and even there. And that looks about right. And if we need to adjust the level of the towel bar, we can actually, the shower bar, we can use this piece to make it, to rotate it a little bit more so it's a little bit less. This piece is going to get covered by the trim plate, so it's not a big deal. That looks about right to me. Okay, there we go. Nice and tight. Now that that's done, we can slip our cover plates over. Slip them on like so. Now we've got a permanently installed shower bar all set. We're not going to lose it if somebody moves or such. Anyway, good to go. Nice new shower bar for the shower stall.